All right, so we had a uh, soccer party here at our place uh, this evening, and a bunch of the boys are, are crashing here for the night, um, having a key team camp out. And I thought we'd set up a fire tech system here, do a little flame show with the DMX and the flames. First here I'd show kind of the setup here with the DMX. I've got the FireTech uh, module here and we've got uh, DMX cable plugged out of it with the, the Limo connector there. And I do have one rail connected to it. Uh, I've got uh, two smoke devices that I'm going to set off here as well uh, to kind of give the light something to shine through. Um, other than that, everything else is uh, DMX. So we've got the, the cables run into the flame machines. Now, one of the things I did with the switches here is I drew a little diagram on here so I can always make sure that I've got the channels set properly. Um, I don't have the power connected right now. That's the last thing I have to do. That's just for safety here. Uh, the bad thing about DMX is that there's a lot of cables involved, not just the DMX cables, but the power cables as well. Um, but it's nice to be able to incorporate the flames into some of the shows. I've got the, the rails set up here um, with just a talon igniter here on a simple uh, smoke device. Uh, so we'll be putting the modules into talon mode. I've got the uh, pass-through rails here, which are very convenient here. So. We've got the input here on this one from the module and the output to the second rail here. When it gets a little darker, we'll start the show. This module out in the field, we're gonna to set to ID1 and then we're gonna connect a Kindle Fire with the FT Control app to module two, ID2. And rather than using a remote, we'll actually load and control the whole show with the Kindle Fire and the FT Control application. So this module here will be set to ID1 because the script that I have loaded on the Kindle Fire is set to, is set to ID1. Okay, I know it's kind of loud here. All the soccer players are out running around and playing. We got them jumping on the trampoline, playing foosball, playing ping pong. Um, but I'm gonna to try to get this uh, loaded up and going here. So what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna set this up as a master module. So I'm gonna start this and hold down the green button. And then once this powers up, I'm gonna set this to module two because the script is set to load on module one. Okay, now we're gonna hold down the blue button and hit the green button real quick to put this into master mode. It's telling us to power on the slaves. So we're gonna go out to the field here. We're going to start this one up here in the field. We're going to set this to module one. All right, ID one. All right, now because we have talons, igniters, we're going to hit the blue button here eight times in ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it has gone into talon mode. All right, we're at ID1. It's got an S in there. It's slave, so it's made a connection to module two that we're going to hook up to the Kindle. All right, so we've got one slave connected here. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the Kindle. So we're connected to the Kindle. We're going to OK the USB connection. Now. I'm gonna load the script into the FT Control app. We're gonna do that with the ES File Explorer. And we're gonna load this script here. The normal way for all. Okay, this is loaded the script into the FT Control application. Now we're gonna load the music as well. I've got this speaker here hooked up to the Android application. That's what we're going to use.
And again, we're going to use this born for greatness file um, here. I also have a time code on the right channel. We're not going to use time code today. So we'll load this wave file. You can see that that's loaded down here. Now we're going to send this to the modules. Now what we have is the Kindle hooked up to a 48FX module. We're not using a remote. This is set to ID2. The script is all set for ID1, which is the module out in the field. So we're going to script upload. Okay, the script is all loaded. We're in test here. Okay, we're back out in the field now. We got a little condensation on the screen there. But we see we've got the program loaded. We've got program in D for DMX. We've got good continuity on just the one pyro cue on the rails. And that's for the flame, or sorry, and that's for the smoke. All right, so right now the, the rails are running in continuity. All righty. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, set this module here in this container that I have that I use to protect the modules. And again, we have this in talon mode. We've got the talons. All right, so it's gonna be real noisy here. We got the whole team gathered around. Um, we're gonna go put the system into arm here. So we can see we're armed here on module two. I can see from here that the module out in the field, the screen is flashing, so it's armed there. So we're gonna go ahead and start the show. What'd you guys think? Not a bad little show.